Hi, Gary Hines again, Escape Velocity Formula and the Gary Hines Consulting Group. And today I want to talk to you about a short story that I want to share called The Boss from Hell. I think we've all had them at one time or another, but you know, I was a bit nervous about working with this particular person that I'm calling the boss from hell. I had heard stories, but I I felt like I was up for the challenge. The pay was definitely okay. The bennies were good. And I was, you know, really starting to feel, you know, my stride with this new position. So let me tell you my story about the boss from hell. Okay? So, you have a master's degree and you write like this. Mr. Johnson stood over my shoulder with his red pen in hand. He had my latest email in his hand and there were so many markings and markups, it looked like the page was bleeding. This was my life now. Everything I produced, emails, reports, he critiqued everything that I did. Nothing was ever good enough. I sat there thinking, what did I do to deserve this? Mr. Johnson is one of the evil bosses you see in the movies, but always assume that there can't be anyone that bad in real life. Turns out it's possible. He had been working through the ranks and had his eyes on being the dean of the college that I was working for at the time. But he never got that position and he was really bitter about it. Despite being a tight ass, he really did know his stuff. He would show up to every meeting dressed immaculately. He was always suited up. But I found out early on that I was in for a struggle with him as my supervisor. He pulled me aside after one of our meetings early on and told me that I should never, ever speak to a vice president in a meeting again. I had happened to say something to a, one of the vice presidents at this particular meeting, staff meeting, and that's when I heard it. Those were the people on his level, and I should leave it up to him to interact with them. This is the kind of person we're dealing with. If you saw him while walking down the hallway, he had a strict policy of not engaging in casual conversation or informal meetings. If you wanted to talk to him, you needed to request a formal meeting, you know, through his assistant. I actually did attend a critical writing course to get my writing skills up to par, but it still didn't help. Nothing was ever good enough for him. But eventually, I couldn't take it anymore, and I told him I was resigning. A month later, I started a new job that fit me like a glove with a boss that supported me rather than resorting to ridicule. I'd like to send you an example of one of my posts when I use that approach. So with the escape velocity formula, I can help you too find the career and dreams uh, of your passion, you know, th that you really, really want to do. So please stay tuned for more stories from Gary Hines Consulting Group. Thank you.